Well, folks, this is like almost like hitting the trifactor to have the pizza guy in the room with Sherry Jackson, the legend, and Joe Bannister. These are the guys that used to knock your door off your hinges if you didn't pay your income taxes, folks. I'm telling everybody this is a bogus, you know, entity. These guys figured it out. Obviously, when Joe figured it out, said, shit, I ain't doing this, you know? Meanwhile, he's the guy, you know, if he's knocking on your door, you're staring down the barrel of collecting illegal taxes for an illegal mafia organization that, would hand, that was handed over a franchise illegally by the U.S. government. And you guys are paying for it, and none of the taxes are going to the United States of America. People in such a big way. I, I think there's a few American people who would love to squeeze you and hug you and, and, and squeeze your cheeks and give you a little kiss on, on, on the forehead. You know what I mean? <laughs> Same thing with you, uh, Jackson. I mean, look, uh, you guys are rock stars. What you guys did, uh, you know, there should be a, a statue of you in every state as far as I'm concerned. What you guys did is, is uh, commendable on all levels. Now, the reality is, where do we go from here? What I mean, let, let me ask you point blank, Joe. Are you paying your income taxes? Are you in a situation where you work for a corporation still and they're taking the money out of, or are you working for yourself at this point and you're saying, screw you, I ain't paying you, it's illegal? Uh, I'm working for myself. I have been almost exclusively since I left the IRS in 1999. Okay. And 1998 is the last year that I filed a federal income tax return. Um, and it's not a screw you kind of a thing. I mean, it's looking at, the, which, you know, I don't, nothing against those that have that kind of an attitude. But for me, uh, you know, having researched the law to the best of my ability, and my ability being, you know, a CPA for 15 years, IRS special agent, uh, I mean, probably uh, at least experience and training uh, quite a bit more than the average American who has to grapple with all of these laws. And I, I concluded that I'm not liable to pay the federal income tax. And if I ever become liable for any federal tax, uh, I will absolutely pay it. Um, I've always been a sincere, honorable person. That's part of the reason I got the job at the IRS. They do a very extensive background investigation, as they did with Sherry as well. So they already were were concerned about my ethics and my um, integrity, and that's never changed. So um, anyway, I'm so it's not a screw you if uh, if that's if I end up owing a tax. Of course, I spent many many years asking for them to show me. Uh, that ended up being a pivotal part of my a criminal trial, uh, which you know I don't know if we'll get into or not. But uh, the IRS loves to uh, pick off people who want to try to tell the truth, and of course they've tried many different ways with me. But it actually became a pivotal part of my trial just how much effort I made in trying to get them to answer my questions. They don't like to answer questions, do they? No, they don't. Especially when the questions are a little bit difficult. Yeah, I mean, they're they're, they're really standard questions. Like, show me, <laughs> show me, the, show law. me the, law. the law. Doesn't as, as... exist exactly. Yeah, I'm I'm being facetious. I'm being sarcastic. You know what I mean? But you know, look, yeah. Sherry... Well, that's famous. That's that's Sherry's famous line. You know, in freedom and fascism, <laughs> show me the law. Exactly. Sherry, yeah. what prompted you to make this new website, uh, screw the IRS challenge.com? Okay. <laughs> what is it? Or is it screw the IRS? It, 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 no, it's stick it to the IRS. See, I already changed the challenge. name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, um, you know, we already talked about my prison situation. So when I got out, I wrote a book called how to stick it to the IRS. And one of my mentors said, Sherry, you just got out of prison and you got the balls to write a book called How to Stick It to the IRS. And I said, they stuck it to me. I'm sticking it back to them. So the challenge, the Stick It to the IRS challenge is basically us pouring out our hearts about how people can maneuver their finances in a way that will have them keeping more of what they earn. I believe that 95% of the people are too afraid to just go head on and say, 
I'm not filing anymore. So that 95 to 99% of the people need to figure out instead of trying to cut the beast off the head off the beast, how to starve the beast. So the stick it to the IRS challenge, Joe's going to join me maybe a couple of those days, but we're just going to be pouring our hearts out about ways that people can keep more of what they earn. I couldn't agree more. I mean, in fact, uh, we're all, I think especially Sherry and I, but uh, many others are realizing all these years, all these decades uh, since the Federal Reserve Act and the income tax came into being, the government and the, the powers that be seem to have been content with <clears throat> just harvesting us like silkworms, you know, <laughs> just taking our money, our blood, sweat and tears. And then they move to wanting us dead. Where are you on that? Uh, do you know anything about the central bank digital currency, Joe and Dr. Sherry? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I, I like your uh, your attitude that, you know, we shouldn't let it paralyze us. I mean, I, I do believe that it's, I mean, look at how the Federal Reserve uh, snaked in the Federal Reserve Act and what they had planned and how I, I'm sure what they had planned has come come to fruition in, in more than their wildest dreams. <laughs> so they've got, they've got the time and the money and the resources to plan and figure out how to outsmart us, but eventually the truth does prevail. Uh, so, you know, I, I like your attitude to not, not get too freaked out about it, but, but on the other hand, um, uh, you know, keep an eye on the enemy and what they're up to and know that in the past, they've been pretty successful in, um, in pulling one over on us. I, I understand the central bank digital currency. I, um, I've, I've heard people that are involved in it, talk about it, how great it's going to be. I know what you're talking about. You've all Harari and the, he's the guy that calls us useless eaters. The central bank digital currency is all about control. If we were to get into something like that, we would be slaves. Uh, I have an innate hatred for slavery. Uh, obviously, <laughs> you know why. And that's not something that that's 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 a hill that I'll die on right there, because you're not going to be able to tell me that I can't buy certain things or I can't go to certain places um, because I have I, I'm a free person. I have unalienable rights, not inalienable, unalienable. That means that my rights cannot be leaned by anybody. They come from God and not man. So, no, that digital that, that central bank digital currency will not work. And I believe that, you know, even if some of the people that are, are sheeple go for it, there are a whole lot of people that understand what's going on and it's not going to work.